Hey guys, what's up? I'm Trevor. And I'm Sean. Together we're Vapertron. Today we're going to do a review of Pinkman by Cloudco Vapor, made right here in Canada. Uh, from what I understand, they actually have an actual physical store of their own in Ottawa, I believe it was. Yeah. And they do their own tastings and things like that. If you're in the Ottawa area, I recommend stopping in and uh, seeing what they have there. So not only are they available at places like Top Shelf Vapor and other stores, but they also have their own location. Uh, and almost wish we were in Ottawa so we could check it out. But local stores tend to uh, meet our needs quite well. So can't really complain. This one, first I'll give you an image, uh, look at the bottle. Hopefully the camera is focusing on that. Sorry about things falling in the background. We just kind of moved some clutter out of the way for this video. That was a and cat. And I guess things kind of fell. Oh, that was the cat, was it? Oh, lovely. So, <clears throat> while Trevor unseals the bottle, which we promised a review of in our last video, I'll just let you know. First off, yes, this is available at Top Shelf Vapor. Unfortunately, no, because it is a premium e-liquid. It's not within their uh, buy two, get one free sale. So, unfortunately, we really can't say that. Uh, Trevor, however, really, really, really wanted to try it. So, a, we is... uh, kind of agreed, you know what? Let's go ahead as long as we do a review. This is 70-30 PG-3, Nick. Okay. And Obviously, of course, we're going to use it in the dripper. Oh, yes. And uh, their website is currently down for maintenance, but I was able to find a description which, if memory serves, is word for word what uh, was on their own website oh anyway. God. This is a tribute to Breaking Bad's Jesse Pinkman, inspired this unique flavor of a triple melon mix mm -hmm. combined with a hard candy flavor and a cooling sensation. And Ooh. it is handcrafted in Ottawa, Canada. So. Oh my gosh. Wow, we're really going to like this. Handcrafted right here in oh Canada, wow. actually in our nation's capital. Mm. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is so And good. I think Trevor is in love. I love Cloud Co. Vape anyway. Yes, you've tried a couple of their other flavors. Uh, the Plume, uh, Green's Custard. What do you think of that? The melon they refer to is really coming through. Oh, what the hell. All right, so apparently we've got to plug in. Of, apparently we've got to plug my mod in. That's watermelon. And honeydew. I think I figured out the three melons. Well, it wasn't hard to guess. Most people can name, will name the same three melons if you ask them. Cloud, uh, watermelon, honeydew, and uh, of course, cantaloupe. Oh, wow. And that I'm is... pretty sure, I can't be entirely certain, but based on the smell, Let me try that. I think that's exactly the three that are used. I can, I'm not getting the hard candy they're referring to in this. All right, uh, sorry for the inconvenience. For ahead. some reason, my mod wasn't charging. So I got to switch the dripper base to the oh, Aspire CF sub ohm. That's too bad. I was hoping to vape a bit while I was waiting for you to do that. Uh, for anyone who's curious, yes, we are still dripping on the Rage and Raspberry Gummies by Alive E Juice. Uh, yes, it still reminds us more of a hard can, hard dry candy than a uh, gummy, but at the same time, yes, we also both still love it. I don't know why it wasn't charging. If you're, I'd recommend checking the Alive website, see if you're in an area that sells it. And if you oh, are, and you like raspberry at all, by all means. Do you favor, Every time we do a video it. review, we actually re-wick our dripper so we don't get any flavors. You can clearly see it's brand new wick, not never been wet at all. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, so. like I said, my mod is dead, so we're going to have to use uh, Sean's CF sub ohm by Aspire. 4.2 volts, if anyone is curious. So uh, that's about 
50 watts on a 3.3 ohm coil. I haven't actually done the math, but that sounds about right. I'm so shaky. If anyone wants to do the math, by all means, go ahead. Oh, wow. It came out as 3 ohms on the dual coil, right? 0.32. 0.32. That's yeah, 3 ohms. If we're maybe at 3 ohms, we'd love to go way above ohm. <laughs> uh, 0.32 and a 4.2 ohm or 4.2 volt battery. 4.2 so, ohm. Yes, boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, so if anyone out there wants to do the math, by all means, go right ahead. Uh, you can even do us a favor, just leave it in the comments. We're just... But wow. We like to do things the easy way and just use the uh, reader on Trevor's and just set it to the same voltage and see that way. Uh, we're, we're, we're very, very lazy people sometimes. <laughs> okay, gotta... No point denying it. Yeah, all right. Okay. Don't forget to hit it a couple times before you actually hit it. You know what I mean. Fire it a couple times. Make sure that it's not going to pot while you're vaping. A uh, little bit of advice that we were given uh, when we uh, bought the uh, gripper. And as Trevor said, we do re-wick so we get no flavor crossover. Are you really getting the melon? Flavor? Oh, 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 wow. Mmm. Now that's a real good vape. Okay, you want to describe in more detail while I try it? It's more like, it's, it's like, like it says, it's got a really chill exhale, but the flavor is just mouth-blowing. Like, it makes my, like, I want to go and eat some melons right now. It's so good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my. Oh. I'm really getting the melon. I'm really getting the cool inhale and exhale when I'm trying it, actually. Hold on, Grammy. Wow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Another good juice from Cloud Co. I'm average I'm juice really to try so. sweetness that I think is what they're referring to. It's just sort of a. It's what everybody said is a hint of hard candy. It, it's almost like someone combined these flavors into a candy. Oh, here's and the then uh, color. That into a vapor. If you're curious, here's the color of it. It's like a, it's like pinkish, reddish. It's sort of a watermelon color, actually, which is appropriate given the flavor profile. See, as you can clearly see, if you're really man, no, too bad. This is a um, three nick because if it wasn't, um, I'll drink it so good. As I said in one of my solar reviews, uh, of course, drinking something with nicotine is a bad, bad idea. Although apparently eating things with nicotine isn't such a bad idea. I recently found out uh, there's a whole lot more edible foods that contain nicotine. If you want more on that, check out uh, our uh, first review of an alive e-juice, because first that's actually where their nicotine comes from. I wish I had more details on uh, this company. Actually, do you want to drink this one? But they're... Uh, Sure. Oh, wow. Their uh, website, as I said, is down for maintenance, and uh, we did promise our next review would be of a Cloud Co. Vapor. This is the one we happen to have. This is the one we were planning to uh, do our next review on. And uh, I have to say, I'm glad we did. I may not have all the details for you that I normally have. We will try to get more information and uh, put it in the description below. I am very careful about making promises, however. I'm not going to promise something unless I know for absolute, with absolute certainty that I can keep it. But uh, yeah, as far as the flavor profile, it is really, really dead on. Um, and, uh, of course, both of us love uh, fruit-flavored uh, juices in general. So, naturally, this is one we really enjoy. You can really get the flavors of uh, melon. It's like someone take, took a melon-flavored candy, what one with a really accurate melon flavoring to it, I thought and then made a juice based on it. I thought Wicked Watermelon by Alive was good, but that's there's no, there's no comparison. Like, that's way... 
I love Alive, but that is like way better than the Wicked Watermelon I tried from Alive. Anyway, um, fortunately, I'm not enough of a fan of, of. Actually, I don't know anything about Breaking Bad, so I really have no idea in what way this is a tribute to. What was his name? Jesse Pinkman. Maybe he likes watermelon and melons in general. Who knows? But uh, whatever it is, uh, this tribute, accurate to the character or not, is uh, definitely a fantastic e-juice. Whether it's an accurate tribute or not, I can't comment on, but I can certainly comment on the flavor. It is fantastic. And uh, not that one. You remember what we were going to do next? That wasn't it. Yeah, it is. That's the one I want to do next. And you want to do next? Yes. We're going to do the one that we were given next. So we're going to do this one by Alive next. Stay tuned for this. Don't show the... <laughs> Anyone who can look at the website now and see exactly what we're going to review next. Unless I have my way, we might be doing another juice, a very premium e-juice that we were actually given a bottle of. Uh, if not, that will be the one after. What do you think? Okay. So those will be your next two reviews. We're still deciding the order. I don't have a vape to do the vape outro. Sure you do. Your battery is a pass through. Yeah, but it wasn't. No, this is a really. <laughs> All right. So. So. In the meantime, with another hit from Top Shelf Vapor, this time by Cloud Co. Vapor. This is Vapertron signing off.